Pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports News. I'm just working. This is going to be the latest edition of the Pond Key Take as the game's about to start between the Growlers and Everblades. We're here to preview that series as the Florida Everblades um, coming into this series. We're able to beat the Greensville Swamp Rabbits, which was in six games. And then, like the Walleye, swept their second round opponent. So they're coming in steaming hot, but also are coming in not having played since May 11th. Where, of course, the Newfoundland Growlers, having taken down the Reading Royals, which was Mac on Monday, played significantly more recently in the Florida Everblades. So I would expect to see in this series, similarly to what I talked about in the series with the Grizzly and Walleye, the Growlers will be coming out much more with the skating legs. And also in this series, the Growlers are the favorite in the series, also on top of being the team that's going to have more of the skating legs for playing more recently. So it is a little bit different in this series compared to the other series, where the Growlers just played on the 16th. Again, the Everblades haven't played since the 11th of May. Granted, they are coming off of a series sweep, so you could say they're riding in with the hotter momentum, of course, but it does mean something when you don't necessarily have those skating game legs under you, so it's going to be interesting to see what comes to fruition here for the Everblades, but you can't say enough about Johnson and Nett. I mean, he's played ridiculous. I talked about him in a preview video at the beginning of the postseason. Cam Johnson has been naughty, nutty bunkers, I should say, in Nett. He has a 942 uh, save percentage, and... um has just been ridiculous. Only a 1-3-8 goals against. Their defense has been very good. More defensive defense for that Everblades team, but LeBlanc can get some stuff done on the offensive end. You got Masella, you got a DeRozier, and then Bouchard as well. And then McKay, uh, Sambrook, and also um, Cable as well. So I think the defensive defense, that's the key for the Everblades in this series. The Reading Royals last series against the Growers didn't do great in front of their net front. If Masella, LeBlanc, Cabell, DeRozier, Bouchard, and others can kind of pound them out of the net front, that's the key to success against the Growers. They're so good in front of the net, even their smaller players like the Orens and Tazos are so good in front of the net, the Gordy Greens of the world, you have to be able to pound those guys out. Obviously, when it comes to the Everblades, they're a very spread-out offense going all the way down to Angeli, uh, Alardi, uh, Yarmenko, Winecki, Van Der Esch, McCarron, uh, Gennaro, Solo, and Pendenza. They kind of rely on everybody as a mixed bag to be able to get it done. They have a very good team that kind of spaces the wealth and gets it done that way. They kind of remind me, honestly, of the San Francisco Giants in baseball and hockey because they don't have the pop. They have a couple of names that you recognize on the sheet and then others that just kind of blend into that perfect mesh, like the Winneckis of the world, the Yermenkos of the world. Um, so, like, they're able to just do that. Um, so I think they're just good at mixing guys together. And then even uh, Neville had a solid first round as well as Coper. So I think having that depth is really going to help them. But the problem is, are they going to be able to get enough scoring against a team that's so sound on both ends, so sound in the neutral zone from throughout that lineup, not having necessarily minus the Pendenza of the world and somewhat Sorrow and Genora, but not necessarily having like O'Brien, if he's going to be healthy for the Grouse in the series, someone you can just kind of put it upon themselves to take over. It's going to be interesting to see if that affects the Everblades at all, but goaltending defense-wise, they're definitely up there and a very good team collectively there, and that's what's going to be a huge potential, lead to huge potential success for them against the Growlers. But the Growlers also have themselves a goaltender that's played every game in the postseason, sorry, every game in the postseason, was one of the best rookie goaltenders, also made one of the all ECHL teams and all rookie teams, Keith Petrozelli. Uh, plus, they have one of the hottest rookie forwards in the playoffs. He has 20 points, Tyler Bowen. Again, if O'Brien's back, that's huge for them. Isaac Johnson's been a net front pest in this entire playoff. Same with Gordy Green. Orens and Tazo's been on a rip. Uh, Darian Plouffe has been doing good. Uh, Gogolev, since coming down from the Marlies, has been a huge godsend for the Growers. So they're just getting it done all around. Finkelstein and Hoffenmeyer have been absolutely deadly. Hellickson's been fantastic in the defensive zone. So I think the Growers, you got to lean towards the Growers in this one. The other team, Petrozelli has a 299, 138 for Johnson with a 942, three shutouts for Johnson. Right now, you might have to give the goaltending nod to Johnson. He has more experience. He's playing better in the postseason. But the overall rounded out part of the team, you have two top defensemen 
with the Growers and Finkelstein and Hoffenmeyer. Uh, Petro Nero's been great in the defensive zone. He's ridiculous at blocking shots. I mean, you're going to see that. Melindy's a tough nut to play against. So I definitely have to lean the Growers in this one. It's going to be tight. It's going to be a good series. I think this one, if the Growers are able to take the first two at home, I do think the series is only going five, and the Everblades are just going to be able to take one. But if they're able to have one where either Cam Johnson or their team's able to have enough of that depth scoring really coming to fruition and they're able to take one of the first two, I do see this going at least six. It's going to be pivotal for the Everblades defense to be key in front of the net. The Royals weren't able to do that and pound them out. If the Blades are able to do that, that's going to be their biggest key to success for being able to win this series or push it the deepest as possible. But I'm definitely leaning towards the Growers in this series, unfortunately, because I want to root for the Everblades because they did just take down a running Royals. So I'm leaning towards the Growers as an analyst perspective, but rooting for the Everblades. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please and you subscribe down below or up above on the easy to use widget to keep channel growing to the goal of 250 or more by the start of June.